good afternoon. Um, I'm going to be giving a Bible study for Psalms 90 through 92 today. Um, just want to start with prayer. Father God, we thank you for bringing us together again today. We know we're not in the house, but Father God, we thank you for keeping us together in a way that we are able to worship you. Father God, let this message reach the people of the church and anyone else that is meant for, and let them hear your words and not mine. In Jesus' name, amen. So I'm going to start with um, Psalms 90. I'm not going to read um, the verses, but I will tell you where I'm coming from with each one. Um, the, the first, uh, Psalms 90 starts a prayer, Moses, the prayer, Moses, the man of God. Um, this is the only Psalm that Moses wrote, but there are two more songs, Exodus 15 and Deuteronomy 32, 32, that they say Moses wrote as well. Um, the time period has been said to be around the time of numbers 20 when Miriam died, Moses' sister, uh, the people were rebelling against Moses because uh, there wasn't any water. Moses went against what God had told him to do and hit the rock instead of speaking to the rock, uh, which made him unable to go into the promised land. So Moses wasn't able to go to the promised land because he went against what God told him to do. Also, it was when Aaron died, uh, Moses' brother. Uh, Moses took Aaron and Eliza up to the mountain and stripped uh, Aaron of his clothing and put him on Elzar because Elzar was going to be the one of the ones that lead the people into the promised land. Moses and Aaron was not going to be able to go and Aaron died on that mountain that day. Amen. Okay, so we're going to start with, that's a little background on Psalms 90. So we're going to start with uh, Psalms um, 90, 1 to 3. Um, we see here that Moses start by recognizing God. God has been there for them a long time. Moses says, through all generations, starting basically before they even started to question to, to the promise, they, excuse me, to the promise, land, which means from the beginning of time, God has never left them. He's always been there for them, even before they even knew who he was. So they're saying that, you know, they should never look away from God. God has never forsaken them or left them any time. Um, Psalms 4, 6, Moses is saying here that God doesn't see time. God doesn't know time. Uh, a thousand years, as they said in the, the verses, can mean one day for God. So we can't expect him to just to make things microwavable for us and move for in our time. We don't know how long it's going to take for him to bring about the promises that have come, but we should know that they will come. He doesn't lie. He doesn't forsake of it. He doesn't lie to us. He, if he promised it to you, it's going to come. Believe that. Um, Psalm 7, 8. Moses is saying God sees all or all our sins. We can't hide no sin. We might try as hard as we can to hide them. But believe, baby, believe me, you cannot hide them. Even the ones we think are secret, you can't hide anything from God. So the ones that you thought that just you knew about, mm -mm. baby, you're going to have to answer for them too. You're going to have to see God about those ones as well. So you might well go ahead and admit to it and repent because they're not secret. Amen. Um, we're going to skip down to 12. We have to understand that life has an end date. We have to learn to be smart. We have to know that what we do now have consequences and we have to learn from them. We have to learn each and every day from everything that we come in contact with. We have to keep on learning. It's never an end to what we learn. Like a uh, computer is, uh, uh, engin computer engineer said, they always have to go back to school and keep learning new the new thing. We have to keep learning each and every day. We can't just read the Bible once and say, oh, we got it all. No, you have to keep going back to that. But every time you go back to that Bible and read it, you're going to learn something new. There's always something in there. So we have to keep on learning that life has an end date. And we have to be, we have to learn within those time limits. To, in the time today, uh, I see a lot of kids, they don't believe that their time is, you know, they have an end date. They believe that they live forever. 
and that nothing can harm them. We have to we have to also teach our children that they they do have an end date. I know when we used to learn from it back in the day, I used to be so scared of revelations when my aunt used to teach revelations to us. I used to be scared. But nowadays, I just it doesn't bother me to go to revelation because I know that my Lord and Savior has me and that he will uh, bring me through each and every moment that I need to go through and teach me what I need to get to the next level that he wants to take me to. So we have to be looking for those times that we need to learn from God and we need to listen and hear from him. Amen. Um, 13 and 17 of Psalms 90. Even in the end, Moses prayed for mercy upon the people, knowing he could not go in 